My name is Michelle Lieberman. I recruit for the clinical development and medical affairs industries, and I've been here since August of 2021. Here at MEET, we are a global life sciences talent provider with offices in San Francisco, San Diego, New York, London, and Berlin. Hello, my name is Caitlin Sumner. I'm a division manager out of our New York City office focused on full-time hires within clinical development. Clinical development is the overarching term for drug development in between phases one through three. And what that really entails, it's the scientific notion of what goes into these trials, meaning these individuals are the ones who are writing the clinical development protocol, doing the clinical trial design, medical monitoring to ensure that these trials are running safely safely. Ultimately, without clinical development, science would never turn into medicine. Clinical development, I think, is important to the drug development cycle, um, just because clinical development really is just the backbone of life sciences. Um, without clinical development, you're not going to end up with the final product, which is the drug, um, which is, you know, ultimately the reason for the life sciences industry in general. Um, it's to create a drug to help patients and really make an impact. So when you take a look at the drug development cycle, it encompasses obviously you know, your early discovery where science is created through to a post-marketed study. Clinical development is that middle period. These professionals are there to get this drug to market and ensure that patients are going to be treated safely. Patients are going to be receiving the top care of treatment that's coming through the market. Hi, I'm Ali Blitzis. I am a recruiter here on the Permanent Clinical Development and Medical Affairs team. I've been here since March of 2022. I would say that the market is a lot more candidate driven right now. I think that you know, with a lot of where the cycles of a lot of products are in the market, um, especially post COVID, you're really seeing a different effect down the cycle. So it really would have to be if a candidate believes in the product for them to consider moving right now. There are many opportunities on the market right now, so they can kind of pick and choose and be more particular. So it's definitely more candidate driven. And with that, it's really our job to give a reason as to why the biotech or pharma that we're working with is or would be the best fit for the candidate. I would say in the clinical development landscape, top talent, what they are looking for in a company, number one, is belief in the science. If a clinical development professional does not believe and back the science of an organization, it ultimately won't lead to you know, a successful partnership. So a company that has true innovative science, a company that respects their employees and is able to put together respectable compensation packages and show their employees that they are worth the science that is being brought forward. I think in this new market, showing flexibility in the normalization, whether it comes from work from home, whether it comes from being able to provide an ample amount of respect to your employees and understand what they are going through really helps change a company from being a good company to a great company. I think there are three common themes to what gets a candidate to make a move and that is the culture and their manager that's a huge aspect um, the science and what they're what they believe in like Everyone in this field is in this field for a reason. So, you know, really utilizing why your asset is so different than what's on the market already and why you're driving the product in the first place. Um, and then another one is for growth. I think that everyone wants to be able to add to the pipeline and add to the product, but also be able to um, be challenged. And, you know, internally, like in, yeah, internal or um, even in terms of a career standpoint. So that will get someone to stay at their company as well as consider moving as well. In supporting your business, what my team is able to provide, we're able to provide multiple different services in a top tier selection process ultimately. On the contingent side, we're able to you know, provide in helping you find the relevant candidate in terms of going out, doing a 30 minute screening process with these candidates, hitting the questions that you need to know, coming back, guiding them through the interview process and reporting back on their interview timelines. Now another area that my team does focus in are those high-end exclusive and retained searches. 
Now, working retain search, what that ultimately means is you are paying 110% from my team's time and service. And what that leads to is a quicker fill time, market mapping, and a more trusted relationship between us and the candidate due to us working with them exclusively. If you're struggling with filling a certain position, you should definitely reach out to our agency. We're gonna come and provide the best top talent for your organization and we're really gonna make it a personal um, relationship where it's not gonna be transactional in any way. We're gonna make sure that we're supporting both you as the client and the candidate as well to make sure everyone's happy in the end.